guys so I am finally bringing to you the much anticipated blue to red confidence video if you don't know what I'm talking about I will link the he doesn't love you video here and you can take a look at the whole blue and red thing that I kind of came up with this video is really just going to be about being confident so even if you haven't seen the other video I mean this obviously it's still gonna be really easy to follow you don't have to watch it so confidence the, the definition is that it's the feeling or the belief that you can rely on someone or something it's having a firm trust essentially so how did I become so confident how can you be confident um, you just really need to believe you need to believe in yourself. You need to trust in your own abilities. You need to trust that you are good enough, that you are, you are more than good enough. The only reason that you are seeing yourself in these negative lights, right? Every single time, like every single time that you guys email me or message me or whatever, you start out by saying, you know, hey, I want to thank you for such and such video. It was so inspiring. I am, you know, blank. My name is Sarah, and I am 5'2", and I weigh 275 pounds, and where I'm 6'1", and I weigh 180 pounds, or I'm 5'5", and I weigh 192 pounds. Like, that is how you guys define yourselves. Some of you tell me your height and weight before you tell me your name, before you tell me why you're emailing. Like, you just walk into this room like, I'm 5'4 and I weigh 256 pounds and now judge me. Don't listen to what I have to say. Don't listen to what my name is. Don't listen to why I'm here. Don't listen to what I know, who I know, why I know it, what I do, who I am. Just judge me. Just judge me on my height. Judge me on my weight. Judge me on the way that I look because that's all that I see. That's all you're going to see. Guys, if, if the only thing that you think about yourself, if, if your first descriptor, if the first thing that you want to tell me is your height and weight, Something is wrong. You should not feel obligated to say, look, I can relate because I'm fat too. You don't need to say that. It's not about your weight. I mean, you guys, you guys have fat on your body. I have fat on my body. It is not the one thing that defines who I am though. You don't let your weight be the definition of who you are. That is your problem. That is what you are doing. And I will say that one of the things that I did, I didn't even consciously do it, but I noticed that one of the things that I did when I started being more confident and just feeling better about myself and about who I am and what I look like is I stopped consuming a bunch of media, okay? So I don't really watch that much TV. And when I do watch TV, I watch like reality shows where I'm seeing people that are not super done up and just like, you know, dressed to the nines and are stick thin and are just living these like quote unquote perfect lives and where everything is solved at the end of an episode. I watch reality TV or I watch like Roseanne or I watch like Jeopardy or stuff like that, okay? I watch stuff that is not pushing perfection down my throat. I can't handle everything having to do with my weight or having to do with what I look like. So I don't watch a ton of TV shows like that. And in addition to that, I don't really read a ton of magazines. You won't catch me. I mean, I know there's always like a Cosmo sitting back here, but I bought that Cosmo like six months ago and I never ever read it. I only bought it because I love Lauren Conrad and I wanted to show some support by buying the magazine. <laughs> um, but I don't really consume that kind of media either because magazines, they perpetuate this image of perfection and this is what you need to be. This is who you need to be and what you need to look like. And it's so difficult to see all of these perfect people. They are beautiful, perfect people that, I mean, they themselves are not even what we are seeing on the magazines. You know, it's all photoshopped, it's all lighting, it's all makeup, it's all hair. It's all fake. It is just this fake reality that we are pushed to believing in. And then what do we do? What do we do when we see these perfect people on magazines and TV, on, you know, in movies, when we see all of this perfectness? that we are surrounded by, we compare ourselves to that. And that is why we are not confident. That is why you guys lose confidence in yourself. That is why you feel like shit when you wake up in the morning. That is why the first thing that you tell me is your height and your weight because you think that that is the definition of who you are. 
you have to remember. Remember who you are. Remember who these fake ass people that you are seeing on TV and the magazines and movies. Remember that those people are not real. Comparison is the thief of joy. That is so true. I cannot tell you how much of a happier individual I became, how much more red I became when I was able to stop comparing myself to everybody. And I stopped following all of these things that made me feel like shit. I don't follow those kinds of things on Instagram. I don't go on Tumblr and follow a bunch of like fitspo blogs because I don't need to see constant fitness shit in my life if that's not what I'm trying to do in my life. If I want to work out, fine. If I don't want to work out, fine. It's my decision. It's my life. Allowing your life to be consumed by all of these things that are creating these negative thoughts in your head, that is the reason that you are not able to become confident. That is what's holding you back. The belief that all of this other shit is who you should be, what you should strive to be, that your life is not perfect, it's not good, it's not good enough until you are these other things. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Don't let your weight and your height and what you look like be the definition of who you are. You can be red. Trust me, you can be red. I haven't always been red, but you can, okay? You can become a confident person. Just let all that other shit go and know that you are great and you have so much potential in your life. Many of you are very young and you have not even begun to truly live. Trust me, okay? There's so there are so many other things in life that are far more important and that are going to be much more defining of who you are and what you stand for. Believe in those things. Trust in yourself. Believe that you are a good person. Believe that you are enough and surround yourself with things and people and only consume media that make you feel good. So I hope that this video has helped you guys. If you want more videos like this, uh, let me know. Hit the thumbs up or let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, what have you. I am all over all of it all the time. It's my thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be an outfit of the day. Hey, I should have quite a few of those coming up in the near future. Yay, because I've been shopping. <laughs> Women do be shopping. All right, see you guys in my next video. Bye. Are you still here? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Hi. What color are you? Black. You're black? Say, I'm red. I'm black and red. You're so cute. This is not the same child from the last video. That was my daughter. This is my son. Say, what's what's your name? Tell Jay him. Jay His name is Jay Carter. He said, don't mess with my mama. Right? Okay. okay. Bye. See you guys later. See you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.